Eric Darling here with Darling Data, <clears throat> and uh, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about in maintenance, and uh, we're going to talk about index view maintenance and create this lovely shadow right here, uh, is because a lot of people have a pretty big misconception about how expensive it is to maintain indexed views. Uh, now, <clears throat> I fully admit that uh, adding an index view is like adding another index to a table. There is overhead to it. You've got to make sure that everything stays up to date in there. Uh, and I do concede that uh, when you start doing things like creating index views, filtered indexes, computed columns, uh, you know, column store indexes that you are probably dealing with a pretty large volume of data and that you probably have a pretty good reason to be a little terrified about how uh, you're going to keep all these different things up to date and in sync so uh, let's dive right in and uh, if, this is not going to be uh, a you know very technical uh, video about things. This is, uh, if you want deeply technical, I would suggest uh, checking out, you know, index view maintenance. There's probably three or four blog posts about that at this point. Maybe some stuff about bugs as well that have. Uh, but anyway, I said, but anyway, twice in a row. It's a good lunch today. So if we run this query to update the post table. we get uh, a query that takes about three seconds total to run. This takes about three seconds total to run because we have to update an index, a non-clustered index on the table, to update the clustered index on the table, and right now we just don't have a very good supporting index to find the data that we care about in the table. Okay, so, uh, bench line there, right? About two points. Now if we this view uh, <coughs> I, I, say, I assure you it has a very good reason for being created. And we create this index on that view. Let's create this unique clustered index. Uh, this index is going to take a little bit of time to create, which might be our very first sign that we're going to have trouble doing index view maintenance, probably because we don't have a very good index currently on the votes table to support creating the indexed view. When you create an indexed view, a SQL Server has to run the query that creates the indexed view. When you want to modify the indexed view, you have to run the query that creates the indexed view to modify it. If creating this unique clustered index on the index view took about 24 seconds, you can probably imagine that modifying the index view might take a decent amount of time. So let's try that. Let's run this. And we're going to do that same update that we did before. And we're going to roll it back. And I'll just keep in mind that I do have accelerated database recovery enabled for this database, so I do not have to worry about the rollback time on this. The only things that I'm concerned about in this query are how long it takes to do that update. We went from like like 2.8 or so seconds to, if I'm reading, and I think 12.984. It's probably close enough to 13 for most people. You know, if we ran this a thousand times and took the average, I'm probably, probably, probably pretty sure that we would hit about 13 seconds there. But if we follow the yellow brick costs, or the, rather the yellow brick operator times in this query plan, we'll find that most of the time starts uh, we have to sort of assemble that indexed view in the back. 
Uh, we have this clustered index scan on votes, takes about seven seconds. Uh, we have a, you know, some hashing things going on here. This one spills a little bit. Uh, coming over a little bit more on the query plan. Uh, this takes about 10, 11 seconds in here. And then uh, finally, uh, when we add in the 11.454 at the end of the branch that assembles the index view to the 1.5 seconds we get that it takes to uh, do the actual update, we get about 13 seconds total. So doing a little bit of query plan analysis, we can probably guess that if we had a better index to support the index view being created, then we would have better performance creating or assembling the indexed view when we need to do that for modifications. So let's create an index on the post ID column of the votes table since that's really just about the only thing that we care about in here. Uh, from the votes table, you know, we're joining on that column here. Uh, everything else is pretty post centric except the ID column from the votes table, but uh, you know, that is a unique column anyway. And since it's the primary clustered primary key of the table, it will be uh, implicitly as a key column in the index that we create on the votes table. So now with an index on votes, let's try this update. Cool. Back to about three seconds. Remember that first iteration, that first mod modification that we did took about 2.8 seconds. This doesn't really add a significant amount of time on uh, when we do this. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if we look down here where the plan used to accumulate, used to be about seven, eight seconds in here. We no longer have that. It's about seven, 700 milliseconds. So a uh, proper and a uh, properly supported indexed view in SQL Server. Too bird-brained behind the scenes with it. But, uh, you know, I guess being bird-brained is sort of a, a relative metric, isn't it? Kind of is. Anyway, after the clustered index view, we don't really watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves wherever you are. Hope you learned something about index view maintenance. Um, server content. Final video of the day before I go to the airport. Thank you.